Please, uh, please. I, 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 I would have a problem with somebody transporting assault weapons through the city of Columbus <laughs> because that gives them an opportunity. These things are designed to kill and we don't want them in the city of Columbus and we should have the right to be able to make that decision to, uh, to make sure that our population is... O'Shaughnessy off going That's to the break. Okay. Go ahead. Make That's your point. Okay. Um, now I have to remember. Let's go back. Uh, about the certain uh, legislation and being, Oh, oh, yeah. oh, we were talking about, uh, uh, you had mentioned the whole thing about uh, um, there's enough rules on the books. Mm -hmm. And I, one of the things that I needed to point out is that uh, the federal government, uh, the 10 year assault weapons ban had expired. Yes. Right, and then uh, the state did nothing to to make sure that our citizens were safe from assault weapons. So we felt that we we felt there was a need uh, to make sure that the people in the city of Columbus uh, had an opportunity to be safe, and that our police officers had a tool, uh, you know, a a local ordinance in in the absence of the uh, federal assault weapons ban, any state move to to make sure that they've got every every tool that they need in their arsenal to fight the bad guys who tend to have uh, AK-47s and other uh, uh, assault weapons that can fire 60 rounds a minute, uh, that can, as I said, cut through quarter-inch steel, um, things like that. It's totally unacceptable. Certainly, and a large part of the reason that the federal ban expired was because they did study after study and were unable to find any correlation between the ban and stopping them from shooting at police or, or reducing crime. I mean, like I said, we've already, you say we don't have anything specific to assault weapons, it's because we have a statute that's specific to all weapons. You cannot use them against police. You can't walk out into your backyard and start plinking at cans in the city of Columbus or any other place because we already have a statute. I mean, that, that's kind of what we keep coming back to is is the local ordinances are entirely superfluous to the laws that are already on the book and they're never going to be used to impact the criminals.